Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on Venn diagram. It says that there are three popular cafes in a city, Flamingo, Robin and Woodpecker. A teacher asked students of a class which of these cafes had they visited. Ten students had not visited any of these cafes. No student had visited all these cafes. And this table gives the number of students who are yet to visit these cafes. Okay. Now, if you look at the data given, it says 10 students not visited any of these cafes. This also says not visited. So, we are given data in the negative format. So, what we will do here is we will draw a negative Venn diagram. So, what does this mean? What does a negative Venn diagram mean is we will draw a Venn diagram depicting three regions, but we will take the, the reverse values. So let us say we have Flamingo, we have Robin and we have Woodpecker. Okay. When we say a negative Venn diagram, so this region means like if you take a normal Venn diagram, so it would mean that they have visited only Flamingo. But in this region, it means that they have not visited only Flamingo. So these people must have visited uh, Robin and Woodpecker. These people have not visited any of these. So these are none. These are people who have visited all the places. These are the people who have not visited Flamingo and Woodpecker. These are the people who have not visited Flamingo and Robin. Now this region in a Venn diagram would depict Flamingo and Robin. So people have not visited these two. So they have visited only Woodpecker. Similarly, this is Flamingo and Woodpecker. So these people have visited only Robin and these are the people who have visited only Flamingo. Okay. So this is what a negative Venn diagram is. It shows these regions. Now what we are given, we are given 10 students had not visited any of these cafes. So at center we will have 10 and we are given the number of students who have not visited these cafes. So 20 for Flamingo, 30 for uh, Robin and 44 Woodpecker. Now let us answer the questions based on this. So the first question is what can be the minimum number of students in the class? Now when we have to find the minimum number of students, so like uh, what we need to do is we need to have maximum overlap. So whenever you have to reduce the count, maximize the overlap. And when you say maximum number of students, that means minimum overlap. That's the strategy. So maximum overlap means this 10 is already there. So let us try to put all the values in these regions if possible. Okay. Now Flamingo is 20. Uh, Robin is 30 and Woodpecker is 40. So we need to... Woodpecker is highest, so let us try to put values in these two itself. Let us say if you put 10 here, so this completes the, uh, the requirement for Flamingo. And if you put, this is already 20. So if you put 20 here, it becomes 40 and this also becomes 30. So these values fill the entire three circles. So 20 for Flamingo, 30 for Robin and 40 for Woodpecker. So the answer will be minimum 40 students. Okay. Now, uh, the next question is on maximum. So let's draw a Venn diagram for that. Now we need to maximize the number of students. So what we will do? We will have minimum overlap region. Minimum overlap means we will try to put values here, here and here and no values in the overlap region. So Flamingo we need to make 20, we'll put 10 here. Robin we need to make 30, we'll put 20 here. And Woodpecker we need to make 40, so we'll put 30 here. Okay, so number of students is 10, 20, 30, 60 plus 10, 70 students. Next question, how many students have visited only Flamingo if the number of students in the class is the minimum? So this is the minimum case. We need to find only Flamingo. So only Flamingo do not take this zero. 
only flamingo means they have not visited robin and woodpecker so robin and woodpecker not visited is 20 so this means 20 students have visited only flamingo next question if the number of students who have visited only flamingo only robin and only woodpecker is in the ratio 1 ratio 2 ratio 3 at least how many students have not visited only woodpecker okay so we will have to make a separate venn diagram for it So flamingo, robin and woodpecker, 10 is the fixed value given. It says visited only flamingo. Visited only flamingo means they have not visited robin and woodpecker. So this, this value, let us say it is x. Only robin, only robin will be this. Let us say this is 2x and only woodpecker. So this will be only woodpecker which is 3x right is in the ratio 1 ratio 2 ratio 3 at least how many students have not visited only woodpecker so we need to find the minimum value here so if we need to find the minimum value we need to find the maximum value of x okay now flamingo is 20 and let us say if we try to maximize x and try to put it 0 we can get the value of x as 2 because it is 10 plus 5x so we will put x equal to 2, putting x equal to 2 this will become 6, this will become 4 and this will become 2. So this will give us the minimum value here which is 14 plus 2 16 and 24. So the answer is 24. If 26 students have visited exactly two of the cafes, at least how many students have visited both flamingo and woodpecker but not robin. Again, we will draw a Venn diagram to understand the regions. So it says exactly 26 students. There are 26 students that have visited exactly two of the cafes. Exactly two cafes visited means they have not visited only one of the cafes. Okay. So this, the sum of these three regions is 26. At least how many students have visited both flamingo and woodpecker but not robin. So flamingo, robin, woodpecker. We need to find minimum people who have visited both flamingo and woodpecker but not robin. So basically uh, they should not have visited only robin. Okay, we need to find the minimum here they have visited both flamingo and woodpecker but they have not visited robin so only robin we need to minimize okay so what we do here is no sorry we have to minimize only not visited robin so this this region has to be minimized okay so these two is 26 so let us say if we put it 0 if you put 0 we need to make it 26 these two regions right and uh, let's say if we uh, now this this number is we need to make it 30 so if we put 10 and 10 here that makes it 30 so this gets completed Okay, so uh, we need to minimize this and these two are fixed, right? So we need to maximize this. See, understand this. What are the given constraints? The constraints are that this should be 30. It says that how many students have visited both Flamingo and Woodpecker but not Robin. So only Robin not visited should be minimized. Now these are the constraints. The total is 26. Another constraint is this total is 30. Now, if we have to minimize this, we have to maximize all other uh, values related to this constant. So, we need to maximize this. Maximize this, this region and these regions. 
okay so that we can get a minimum here so flamingo is 20 so if we put 10 here it becomes 20 so we can have 0 here now if we put 10 here and we need to put 26 here because this total is 26 now what are the things that are balanced out this 20 is balanced this 30 is balanced this is coming as 46 but it should have been 40 now 6 extra okay now if we see this if we split this region okay, if we split this region what will happen is if i send the people who have not visited two of these one i send here and one i send here okay so the number will reduce by two and count will increase by two so let us say so we will have increase in like say if i make it nine okay and we will have like we can make it 25 and we can make it one see now this is 30 this total is 26 so the total is still 44 if i further reduce by one so this will become 24 and this will become 2 now this is 30 this this was anyway balanced this has become 42 if i make it 7 this will be 3 this will be 23 okay now this looks balanced see the total is 30 matching total 20 matching total 40 this is also matching also the total of these three values is also 26 so we should have a minimum of 3 here right we can also split this also let us say we take it like this just take this example because answer won't change see we put 10 here 10 here and 20 here right to make it 40 and we initially put 6 here 10 here okay so let us say instead of uh, putting values uh, extra values here we ex put extra values here we try to reduce this okay so woodpecker 40 is satisfied robin 30 is satisfied but flamingo is right now 26 so in order to reduce like if we split one one will go here another will go here okay so let us say if we split three 3 will go here and 3 will go here. Now again see 20 is being satisfied, 30 is being satisfied, 40 is being satisfied, this total is 26. So either case the answer is going to be 3 only. So it does not matter whether you split with uh, woodpecker or you make a split with flamingo, the answer is going to be 3 only. So this is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.